So in this week's videos, I've taught you about named ranges. But of course, we're still running our dance studio. And the ultimate goal of this week's exercises is to actually complete a planning for our dance studio. So let's have a look at what we've done so far. We have improved our formula with use of named range. We've made a data table out of the teachers. We have all the information. There's one thing that we still need, and that's the availability. What teacher can teach on what days of the week? Because not all of them are available all the time. But we have an issue now here, because in this worksheet, the days of the week are the, in this direction, whereas in the availability, they are in the other direction. Well, we can fix that by selecting this data and copying it with paste special in a transposed way. So all of the data is flipped. And then we can copy it back to the original position. But what has happened now is our worksheet has changed, but the name ranges have not. So the name is still horizontal levels, but in the spreadsheet, it doesn't mean levels anymore. It's actually days of the week now. And this is one of the risks, unfortunately, of using named range that I would like to call the basmati effect. Often in your spreadsheet, but also in normal programming, it happens that your code changes, your spreadsheet changes, but the values, the names you have given to them have not changed. And then you get things like this, where you have a container saying rice, but actually it contains cookies. And this is what happens in spreadsheets as well. And this is what has happened now in our example, where we have a name called horizontal levels, but it actually contains days of the week. So your exercise for this week, the first exercise, is to fix this. I would like you to use the name manager to change this name into an appropriate name, but also to fix the formulas in such a way that you are again retrieving data so that you get Xs on the spots of the days and the levels. And the second assignment is to actually make the planning. So not just the crosses, but actual names for teachers that can teach at a given day for a given level. So that's your assignment. Use named ranges, but also all of the things we talked about in previous videos to complete this planning. Good luck.